Hey guys, I'm Cole. I'm back with another Transformers video. And today I've got Transformers 2015 Warrior Class R.I.D. Warrior Class Windblade, and I like this one. I really do. She's a very she, she's a much more simplified, more kid friendly version of the Windblade design. Let me go ahead and bring in my Film Noir Spider Man, my Scourge. We've got Soda Can, we've got Hubcap, and let's bring in the War for Cybertron Siege Cars. And before we continue on, let's bring in the other Wind Blades. So we've got the 2015 or 16 Vote to Make a Figure, that she started the whole Wind Blade fan thing going on we have the transformers rid wind blade and i've got the more recent legacy cyberverse wind blade and you can see how they've changed a lot over the years with just the same character but like similar designs we've got the slender skinny one we got the slightly bulkier one and then like i don't know how to call this one bulky but it's like a whole other kind of bulky um yeah, I don't have a Titans Return one yet, but when I do, we will go ahead and do this again for all four of those. So Windblade here is a little bit chunkier than the uh, Thrilling 30 Windblade, and she's got a bulkier backpack, but the backpack still folds together nice and out of the way. Uh, she still has some. She still has a very nice face sculpt, though they made it a lot more simplified and a lot less line heavy than the um thrilling 31 she does have her little uh website scanner thing anybody still playing that game you're welcome to scan it go ahead have fun with that let's go take a quick look at her sword which they really simplify they they gave her the ability to hold it properly like a gun so now has a barrel at the end but now the sword itself is just regular um regular solid piece of plastic no translucent anything going on, which does kind of suck. But it was, you know, kind of the uh, budget class of the year. They, they weren't supposed to be very expensive, the uh, R.A.D. Warrior class figures. As you can see in the thumbnail, though, she can wield the sword gun thing. very effectively it looks very good held up like that uh, articulation she does a ball jointed neck and so he's got a lot her deck is actually a lot more poseable than the thrilling 31 which is kind of nice she does have the little hair fan weapon thing going on which is cool i'm glad that it seems that they kept that going for all versions of windblade including the titan return one but i will Find out for sure when I finally get that one. She doesn't have the uh, weird separate shoulder armor like the Thrilling 31 does. It is all one piece and it's on a ball joint with a swivel below the shoulder. A decent elbow bend. She's got the nice slender feminine waist. She's got a, you know, a bust going on there. Still, the backpack isn't too bad. <clears throat> uh, swivel at the waist, yes. Ball jointed hips this time around. At the hip swivel. Nice knee bend. And you can go ahead and extend that knee out into a full on double jointed knee with a big old spike on the end. Let's go ahead and transform her. And her transformation is actually a lot more simpler than the... Um, does she have ankle articulation at all? No, that's... that's She has the foot right there. But that really is really much more for transformation. You know, and go ahead and turn that all around. Probably need to rotate her at the waist. Let's open up the back panel here, and there's that double hinge. You know, bring that around and just encapsulate the entire head. She is a cone head. These legs are going to hinge forward on those knee hinges, like this. Then the fin. As it's also this double joint going on here. The uh, feet need to come together. 
and then you just lay that panel right across there. I like how they use this panel to cover up that big open gape that they have in the, uh, yeah. Thrilling 31 had a bunch of holes and gaps in there, so it's nice how they figured out a way to cover that up. <clears throat> then, these tabs here are going to go into the same slots that they used to store the sword in her vehicle mode. And these rectangular bits go into the shoulders, actually. And everything closes up, and, uh, yeah, there we have her in her jet mode, and, oh, here we go. And there we go. There is no landing gear except for this bit right here kind of counts as landing gear so we can set her down like that. So here we got the RAD in auto in her robot mode. And let's go ahead and can I stand you up like that? A little bit, but not very well. What happens if I pull the sword out a little bit? Will that help? Again, not very well. All right. Let me bring in film noir Spider-Man and see how she is next to him. We'll bring over Scourge. And here is Hubcap. And for a better comparison, there she is next to a soda can. Let me go ahead and put this back here. And we got to bring in the Siege Car Robot guys. Get him to stand up. And yeah, we got to bring in the other Wind Blades. So we've got the Thrilling 30 Wind Blade. We've got the R.I.D. Wind Blade. And we've got the Legacy Wind Blade. And even in their vehicle modes, you can see how there was a more so in their vehicle modes. You can see that there was a wide change in styles for this vehicle. Oh, let me adjust that camera again. So, and like, you can still see how the essence of the vehicle is still there across all three versions. It is a fighter attack craft. It's like a sleek version of, of, um, of Thrust. And I really do enjoy the way all three of them look together. And I am more so more looking forward to getting a Titan Return version. So, Windblade, R.I.D. Windblade in her uh, vehicle mode is a little bit bulkier. And yeah, you, you kind of need to leave the sword in place. But you can have her without the sword. And she still has a very decent vehicle mode. There's the robot stuff underneath. They do a better job of hiding the head. But it's definitely a more kid-friendly, bulked-out version of the Windblade character. It still has the uh, spinning rotor blades for the VTOL takeoff and landing. And I didn't check the price on this one, but most R.I.D. stuff is pretty darn stable. It was like $14, $15 bucks when it came out, and it's maybe $30 bucks mint in the box. You'll have to find that out on your own and go track that one on eBay. But, like, I'm glad I got it. It's a good figure. It's got rid of that weird gap thing that the um, Thrilling 30, unfortunately, had. You can see that. And I think they took a lot of the design ideas and put it into the uh, newer Legacy one. So, yeah, it's overall a great figure. Yeah, I'm Colin. This has been Transformers R.I.D. Warrior Class Windblade. Good figure. Go track one down.